A nightmare ride at Rye Playland leaves people stuck in reverse for several straight minutes. The Music Express ride malfunctioned over the weekend, giving thrill seekers more thrill than they were seeking. <laughs> As the video spreads across social media, people are asking questions about safety precautions. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo has more from Rye. Thrills turned to chills at Playland when the Music Express ride malfunctioned, leaving customers stuck in reverse. We're human, you know, our bodies can only handle so much. Giovanni says his cousins were on the ride Sunday night at around 8.20. Around and around it went, minutes longer than it should have. He says it felt like an eternity. They absolutely did not have the proper protocols to stop that ride. I believe the... The workers that are um, handling the ride should know what to do in a case like that. Playland's general manager says the ride, which has been put out of commission for the time being, suffered an electrical malfunction. Jeff Davis says protocol was followed. Operators tried an emergency stop, and when that didn't work, maintenance was called to disconnect the power. Safety is our number one priority here at the park. That's why we have train ride operators, train ride mechanics, procedures in place. Procedures some customers are now questioning. I think it's very important because uh, the safety of everyone who comes here, it matters to the park. Because like, if, if they don't really inspect all the rides, something bad could happen. Nothing you saw would have indicated that this ride, you know, might at some point malfunction. That's correct. It went through its normal uh, inspection process. And we've chatted with some park goers who come to Playland not only for Music Express, but for all of its rides. And they tell me for years they've had full faith in the park to keep them safe while they're having a good time. It's one of our favorite rides. I mean, usually when I take my daughter here, took her here last year, we was fine. Everything was never a problem. Brett and his family trust the daily inspection process and hope the ride will reopen again soon. The park now working with the manufacturer Wisdom Rides to correct the issue. We've reached out to them as well. No injuries were reported.